Good morning, everyone. What a great day we have today in South Carolina. My name is Michael Aquilano, and I'm the Secretary of Communications and Public Affairs for the Catholic Diocese of Charleston. And I'm here today to welcome you here in person, but also on all of our social media channels and the media that are present. We are very excited to have this occurring today, and I'm here to welcome Bishop Guglielmoni to the podium. Well, good morning, everyone. Okay, it is a, a great day for the diocese. A wonderful day for this to be announced. It is the feast of the chair of St. Peter, uh, which speaks of, uh, uh, you know, the, the ministry of, of the Holy Father, but also the ministry of the Holy Father in terms of bringing a sense of unity to the church. So it's a great, a great day to, to celebrate this. It has been indeed a, a pleasure to receive uh, the notice from the Apostolic Nuncio, the Pope's representative, that a new bishop has been uh, appointed uh, for the Diocese of Charleston. And I must say that uh, it has been uh, a delight to have uh, just a few conversations with him before we even met. We met last night for the first time. Uh, and um, I don't think that either one of us has slept thoroughly uh, since that announcement. Uh, but it is just indeed a wonderful experience to be able to welcome uh, Bishop-elect uh, Jacques Fabre to, uh, to the Diocese of Charleston. Without further much ado, I mean, uh, the whole curriculum vitae will be distributed, and he can uh, speak for himself, so I'm not going to go on and on, but just to say welcome. Thanks to the Holy Father for this, this great gift to the Diocese of Charleston, and Bishop-elect Jacques. <laughs> Thank you, Bishop William Mone. Oh. <laughs> I'm used to be in front of thousands of people because my parish is about 5,000 members every Sunday. And I never feel so frail with fear. Just, that, just you looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> One day I asked um, a professor, uh, it was an English class, I said, how do I get rid of my accent? He said, I'm sorry. So once you are two years old, you'll never lose it, especially it's a French accent. So bear with me. And it's a combination of Brooklyn accent <laughs> and French <laughs> accent. It's all powerful. <laughs> so be patient. I'm uh, Your Excellency Most Reverend Bishop Robert Eric. We are Eric. He's Eric, Eric and I'm Eric too. I'm Jack Eric. Thank you for your welcome and making me feel at ease since yesterday. As you said, I never slept <laughs> <laughs> since I received it on, on a Sunday, right after the six o'clock mass, Well, I was listening to confession, and then I received a call from the nuncio. I said, you must be killing me. He said, I, don't, I do good stuff and serious stuff, and I'm serious. I said, no, you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> then I went back to distribute communion. This is youth and I just knelt down and I said what am I going to do now? But because of that fear I began to really trust in the Holy Spirit and trust in God. So once you know what you're doing, the human aspect of it becomes more of than God's will. And if I was chosen, uh, then I thank the Holy the Holy Father and also the Nuncio for choosing me among better priests, more prepared priests for this day. But I know that if the Mother Church chose me, it's because of something that they've seen 
and I, I'm not able to see it, and I'm sure many others. So together, we're going to, uh, to learn what it is, to search what it, what it is, so we can together give testimony to God's love. I am part of a family of six, and I thank my mother. When I told my mother I was, I was going to become a priest, and they looked at me right in, in the eyes and said, if you're gonna do it, do it right. And when the, the nuns called me, and I remember that phrase, and I just had a, a visit, because I belong to a congregation, the Scalabrini Fathers, who work with refugees and immigrants and refugees. So we just had a visit uh, in, in October, and, uh, and he gave me a hug twice. And he said, don't say no to Mother Church. So this morning I called him, I said, I, I, this is what you meant. <laughs> you have to say yes. So these two phrases, that's why I said yes to serve, even with, I don't know where this is going to take me and what it's leading me to. As I said, I belong to a family where are three brothers, two brothers and three sisters. My mother came to the States in the 60s and left us in Haiti for four years with my older sister, 18, to take care of us, five of us, and my, and my dad. I wonder if any young man or young woman will take over his brothers and sisters at 18 for four years. Then we were able to join her in, in Brooklyn where I did uh, part of my studies uh, high school, then in college, and I wanted to become an engineer. That's what I'm studying. I was studying to be. And one day, one professor said, you have to go out and sell yourself. If you cannot do it, you cannot become an engineer. And I went back to my parish, St. Teresa of Avila, and that I thought about it, sell yourself and I decided to become a priest. I'm selling my soul, but not my <laughs> So uh, that's why uh, I'm grateful for my mother is, uh, is it was a, a legion of Mary all her life. And when she came to Brooklyn, she was in Jersey first, in New Jersey, and she did, decided to go to Brooklyn. That's where most Haitians were going. Because any Haitian was going to the States would say, I'm going to New York, even if they were going to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> so my mother decided to move to Brooklyn, and she started the Legion of Mary. And they went to Zidia, and they got five of them now. And I, and I chose this day because, of, as Bishop was saying, the chair of, of Peter, but today is the International Day of Boy Scouts. This is what I chose today because it was a part of my life uh, to form me as a person. And whenever I'm working, in, working in, a par in the parish, it's just what I've learned, not only in the seminary, but what I've what I learned as a Boy Scout, to accept challenge, to face it, and to love. As I said, I belong to a community, uh, the Scalabrini priests, they are took care of the migrants in the beginning of the century, the Italians, yeah, not mostly the Italians because it was an Italian order, so open to all cultures in the 60s. And this is, I'm the fourth Haitian in the congregation. And it wasn't easy to adapt, to fit in. So I'm glad to be here. I'm looking forward to see, to learn from uh, the one, one thing that I, I learned as a priest, and I, I will do it exactly the same. Never start something new. We don't invent the wheel. You just build on what you find. And I will be building on what I found, whatever the, what you've done, Bishop. And I know that you're going to be there. Most of the bishops offered their sincere yeah, help and be there. So that I'm sure that uh, building on what we found and make it better, 
because there's something that we are, uh, I usually said with the American culture or system, I hope that we don't lose it. Because coming from a different country, that's right, I capture uh, the American system of life is always thinking about the future, the next generation. But us, back from Haiti, we think about today, for me. And whatever I do is for me and for my family, not for the future. So whatever we'll be doing together is gonna be to, to make sure that we leave a church which is stronger, a society which is stronger, and a society that can uh, accept everyone and find their their place and exercise the gifts that God has given us, all of us, different gifts. We are we are Christian Catholics. We have seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, and we all have it. So if we put put it together, I think we can do miracles. That's what I've done in all the parishes that I've worked. And I, I feel that like, like, like I'm the prophet Amos. I was called, I'm called, I've been called from a mission church into a cathedral. I worked all my life in rural areas, in Immokalee, in the Dominican Republic. That's the first time I'm going to work in a city. So I, I really sense, uh, I received the call and I said, okay, now you have to start being yourself and let God take you and lead you. And I will do that with your prayers. Thank you. I'll take questions. And uh, probably a summary of of who I am. And if it's good, I invite you to to, to think about it and work on it. When I was coming back from the Dominican Republic, I did not want to go come back to the States for one reason. I was afraid to come back when I was listening to all the news. And I'm a hugger. And I like to hug kids. I said, I'm not going to be able to hug one. And I won't be able to touch people. But in where I work, they are mostly Hispanic, mostly Mexican. Uh, and on Sundays, whenever I walk into the church, I can hear the children, Padre. And that's a good feeling. And I can touch them and, and hug them. Because I think we need that. We are, it's a divided country, politically. But if we, if we have one humanity, that's what we are, one humanity. We can bring that humanity together. And we can do it. And we'll be better off. Uh, last Sunday, I, I, oh, by the way, when they received the call, it was exactly the readings of, uh, of Peter saying that I'm sinful, I cannot accept it. To be, and it was uh, is uh, Isaiah, and the second um, Saint Paul. I was being a persecutor, and this is one of the reason I said yes. 
So we, if we are uh, that humanity, and I was saying last Sunday, that we are uh, physically animals. So if we behave as such, then we'll be at each other's throat. But if we remember that what makes us different than animals that we have a spirit within us, or soul, it makes a big difference. So let's bring all our souls together. Thank you. Por supuesto. I, 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 when I, English is my third language because we have Creole in Haiti, French, and English is the third language for me. But it becomes the fourth because I've been speaking Spanish for the 528 years. So I have to learn, go back again to be fluent and to continue to learn. Qué bueno, y doy gracias a Dios por esta y al Papa y Francisco, al Monseñor también Wilton G. Gregory Cardinal, y por y escogerme para esta misión. Tengo mucho miedo, pero qué bueno, porque cuando uno tiene miedo, uno confía en el Señor. Uno se entrega su humanidad en la mano de él, como Pablo, como Pedro, y él sabe hacer un mejor trabajo con nosotros cuando nos dejamos. Y los hispanos eh, pueden saber, eh, yo pertenezco a una congregación que trabajamos con inmigrantes y refugiados, pueden tener en nosotros, eh, en mí, un papá para todos, no es solamente un grupo, para todos, y como decía en inglés, somos una sola humanidad, y si vivimos como tal, tenemos el animal en nosotros, pero el espíritu es lo que nos une, que nos hace ser una sola familia. Los quiero mucho desde el, lo más profundo de mi corazón. ¿Quieres want to hear something <laughs> eh, When I was in Guantánamo, uh, with an annual lot of soldiers from South Carolina because of the base. So they, they used to ask me to, to teach them one phrase in Creole. And all the chaplains and all the military personnel would remember that. Sac passe na boule. A ver, sac passe na boule. It's, we have, it's, it's, it's a, it's a very negative way of looking at life. When you ask a Haitian, how are you doing? He said, I'm burning slowly. <laughs> I'm burning slowly. No? Ma boule, piti piti. Et tout fwe maxem yo, et parce que genye m konne genye ki te, ki rele maten, some of the Haitians called me from Haiti, my brothers, and they were saying they were proud of me, because they feel that it's one of them that, uh, that is taking that responsibility. Moi dit tout frère Chemio et moi remet nous, merci parce que nous t'ai accompagné comme père qui fait un capable vivre jeudi avec, c'est nous-mêmes qui fait ça mieux et me pas oublier ça. Et bonsoir, c'est un plaisir. Et j'espère et beaucoup de prières de vous un poco en, en italiano. <laughs> Gracias mille por todo que ha hecho con me. Aguri. Y se, será orgulloso de su sucesor. Thank you.
to state, um, uh, as of this moment, that um, um, Bishop-elect Farquhar uh, is now considered uh, Bishop-elect, and that means I am no longer the ordinary of this diocese. But I have received an appointment from the Holy Father that until uh, uh, Bishop-elect Farquhar is, uh, is uh, ordained and installed, and the date for that is April 29th of, of this year, uh, I am the apostolic administrator of the diocese. Uh, so, for most uh, practical reasons, not very much changes uh, <laughs> until until the ordination and the installation. And now, yes, the alpha and the omega. <laughs> <laughs> And we are brothers. The only thing, I was born at night, and he was born during the day. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we say the prayer of the family, which is the Sunday prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Because this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and will forgive and trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from it. Dios se salve Maria, llena de gracia, el Señor está contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros pecadores, ahora en la hora de nuestra muerte. May God bless you, bless your families. Bless the work you do to communicate to others, those who are were unable to be here, but through your work, they're going to receive that message, that great blessing of God, you know, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, and a big applause for you, right?